Okay, the minutes will stand as uh, presented. To amend the agenda. I'll make the motion. I'll second that motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 We don't have a public address. All right. Uh, <coughs> let's go down to the Peggy with the budget. Okay. Uh, in your packets, you'll have information about our budget hearing. It's that time of year again. Uh, on Monday, June the 10th, we'll have a public hearing here at City Hall at 10 a.m. And then um, then Tuesday the 11th, we'll be uh, considering the budget for approval. Um, the summary is there uh, with your sheet showing each fund and the anticipated revenues and expenditures. Uh, the proposed budgeted expenditures for fiscal year 2020, that does not seem possible, but anyway, is eleven million three hundred ninety-one thousand four fifty-nine. That's up a couple hundred thousand from last year. But if you would take some of the grants that we are working on, take that out of the equation, it would actually be less than, than last year's. So that that will be coming up in June. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, we'll, like I said, that when you come to the meeting, it's it's open to, to everyone here and to the public. The other thing that I, the other report that I handed you is you, the board had mentioned several times to, to me and then Burley in particular has talked about it a lot with me since he came into office about starting to consider having reserves. Um, we've talked about it for a few years and just haven't really been able to do it. So what I did was I took your, it's the same report that you got at the end of April. And I just reworked it a little bit. And if you'll look at last month's report versus this one, the bottom line stays the same. Nothing, nothing changes, except that we, we put a new line in there that says reserve funds. And we either took money out of like the savings account or from the checking account. For, for example, there in the general fund column, we had $32,812 in like a savings account we would just move that up to this reserve line. Water sewer had over a million dollars in their checkbook, so we moved $500,000 down to this reserve line. Now, that's just a proposal. It's just a suggestion. Um, I'm not asking for us to actually go in and restrict those monies to where they can't be used. Just move them down to a line item to see if maybe over the next six months or so if we can operate off of this top line and be able to over a period of the next 12 months see if we can maintain it um, we may not be able to we may as expenditures come in and if revenues don't pan out like we think we might have to rearrange these <coughs> but since you all had suggested that we start doing that we thought this might be a beginning step to just see where it falls um, we can adjust this at any given time it's totally fluid but that restricts, I'm restricting myself, I'll put it like that, without you guys literally doing a resolution to restrict the monies. I'm just restricting myself in that these monies are set down here in this line item and the only way we'll move them is if I go talk to Burley and Burley talks to you all and say yes, let's, obviously that's not working, let's move some money back up into the operating. At the very, very bottom, I just put some ideas in there looking at each fund what we might think about having eventually in reserves, um, that's you know. The, the goal is a number sure. right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, and for example, um, Carl Slate and I were talking, <clears throat> like in his sanitation fund, if we could get 250000 sitting back in a reserve count and say a year or two down the line here, he needs a new trash truck. Maybe we, the budget will only allow us 100000 and the truck actually costs 200 We could literally borrow from ourselves and, and pay, pay back into that reserve fund, maybe even with interest, yeah. rather than going out to a lending institution and paying them interest. Right. So I, I just see it down the road as being a real positive for the city to be able to finance our own projects. But this is just a, a proposal. It's just a suggestion. Nothing... Um, legally binding on it it's just a line item for now and then 
totally open to comment as to whether you think this is a good idea or, or what you all think. Oh, I think it's excellent. Yeah. I mean, we've, actually, yeah. we've actually, from the different uh, departments, we've shifted about $700,000 down. So uh, uh, it's a start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, it, it'll take a while to get to that 3.3, uh, so. but uh, I think it, it's a goal that we could work on. And, Got to start somewhere. Yeah, you bet. This is something mm -hmm. that the auditors have actually recommended yes. uh -huh. about every year when they mm -hmm. come in to uh, do this. Mm -hmm. They recommended starting with at least a three month reserve. Mm -hmm. what, what are these reserves? Uh, are they three months, six months, a year? That was going to be my, that was going to be my question. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's Peggy looking at it going, hmm, well, if we put 1.5 in electric, then we would have at least three months of utility bills. Um, you know, water fund might be, don't, we don't have that big, maybe a million dollars to just have to do, totally just pegs calculations on there. So totally open to interpretation, yeah. up or down, yeah. you know. So by that, the time we figure our payroll and our pension payments and, and right. uh, electric payment, you know, it sounds like a lot of money to have a million and a half reserve in, in electric. But you know, looking at that, that pays three months electric bill. It is, yeah, that's all it does. It's a, it's self-insured policy. Yeah, what yeah. It is. yeah. That's what it amounts to. Well, right. and, and in case of a storm, I mean, a million and a half. Yeah, it's a lot of money. But we have another storm come through, and you take out a bunch of lines, transformers, and poles, and we have to have outside help contract to come in and help get those back up and going. That million and a half goes quick. Yes, uh, and, that, and that's happened twice. Yes. Yeah. And, and the two uh, governmental funds there, those are tax-supported funds. So I was, I just looked at that, and I do like your idea of the three months, and we might need to go back and look at those figures, um, so that you have something to base it off of. It shouldn't probably be as much as your utility funds. You're not going to see a, a million dollars sitting in parks. But I do think we, going back, and I'll, I'll have the auditors maybe look at that when they come in the fall and say, could you give me some more figures that might be a little more accurate, but... Yeah, I think it would be good, you know, when we have the public looking at our budget, you know, they could, they might look at this and say, you know, you guys have a billion and a half in reserve, but if we could say, you know, look, that, that just carry us through three months. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and, you know, it's, it's not a yeah. large amount. No, it's, it is amazing how much money does come through and how much actually goes out and how quickly it can go out. So, yeah. but, but I did think that that, I'm like, it's a start, a starting point. Yeah, yeah you bet. I'm, I think it's a real positive uh, direction for us. And yeah. just leave it's it fluid there. for now. You know, we may down the road want to be more restrictive, but I think for now, let's maybe just do this scenario and see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I visited with Peggy before all of this and kind of, Give her my thoughts. I didn't have. To, I just give her my thoughts, and I said, "This is what I'd like to do." And Peggy's worked hard to put these numbers together, and I'm uh, pleased with uh, what Peggy's done with them. She come up with numbers that I'm happy with, and, and I think we can all work. With them. It's a it's a goal for us. You know. But anyway, I think we'll get there. Okay. Suzanne. All right. Um, first on the list is your ordinance a bill number for um, reviewing the animal section in our code. So it's bill number 190507. And in our first reading, it says an ordinance repealing City of Ava, Missouri Code of Ordinance, Chapter 10 Animals, and replacing it with a new Chapter 10 Animals. This is based off of a legal review um, with our coding company and also um, had several suggestions about making our vicious dog ordinance a little stronger. So. Uh, actually, I, you know, I'm not looking to pass this by no means tonight, but uh, uh, of course on an ordinance we have to have two readings. And uh, you know, if you want to make a motion for the, you know, the first reading and, and, uh, and then there will be some changes. There are, there's already been some changes made. Changes? Do we need to wait on the reading, or do we need to? They can go ahead and do the first reading. I think. That's, uh, 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 that's what I would recommend. As well. as, as a motion for the the first reading, and then we'll we'll make a, you know 
we'll get it the way we want it, and then at the, the next meeting we'll have a, a, a second reading on it and and uh, get the changes in it. And that way, and, I, and I, there's already been some questions brought up, so uh, basically, I'd entertain a, a motion for the first reading on this ordinance. We'll, I'll make a motion for the first reading. Okay. And it's got a second. Second. But all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we'll, we'll bring this back up at the next meeting. Okay. Okay. Okay, and then resolution number 2019-0504. Um, just a second. That is a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute and the city clerk to attest an agreement with Action Reality to list the Rawlings building for sale. And I'm going to clarify this a little farther. This is the, the brick building only. And uh, we've gone down at it at Delvin there. It's not uh, nothing to do with the warehouse out back. It's just uh, the brick building only. Do we have a... Could we table that, Mayor, to later in the... Meeting? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can. Uh, motion to table that till later in the meeting. I'll make a motion to table it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we go to the... Okay. Next one. Mm -hmm. Next one is resolution 2019-0505. And that is a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign and the city clerk to attest the contract agreement between Pitts and Son excavating for the purpose of cutting hay off of city property in exchange for excavation work. I'll make a motion to approve that resolution. Uh, second. I'll second that. Do you have any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Next resolution is 2019-0506, a resolution authorizing and approving the city's entering into an agreement to pay the Ava Area Chamber of Commerce Services and Expenses for promoting the economic development of the city and surrounding areas and directing the mayor to execute the agreement. Okay. This this number has stayed the same same amount of money as, as we did last year. So uh, do we have a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve that. We have a second. I'll second. We have a second. Do we have any further discussion? All in favor. Aye. Aye. The next reading is resolution 2019-0507, a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute and the city clerk to attest a renewal of lease agreement known as the Fairground Lease. And also brought to my attention is a change in the back on the hold harmless because I didn't put the right date in there. <laughs> I'll make that motion. Second. I'll second. Any further discussion on that? These, these uh, the amounts, the dollar wise, they've all stayed the same. So it's a, we have a second there. Do we have any further discussion? Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 2019 -0508 is a resolution to authorize the mayor to execute and the city clerk to attest an addendum and extension to contract agreement with the senior age area agency on aging for the use of community center. Motion, motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. I have a second. I'll second. Say, uh, go ahead, Sam. Second. Any, any further discussions or questions? All, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And the last 
but not least is a resolution 2019-0509 and this resolution authorizing the mayor to sign and the city clerk to attach the contract agreement for JB construction to construct and pour 800 foot by 20 foot concrete apron and two side pads that are 4 foot by 12 foot for both entry doors for the electric department shed. Motion, motion to approve. So moved. I second that. Okay. With the one correction on a word. A word. And one word. Which word is that? It is in section three. And it says due to, which should be inclement weather. Yeah. And I just say that. Okay. Okay, I forgot where we was at. Did we have a second on that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, we're down to the Does, does uh, any aldermen uh, have any comments or anything before I get started? Uh, this is kind of an update. We, we went back, uh, Suzanne and myself, and uh, Lane Stillman went back to uh, Pomona. We went to a scope called uh, the TAC meeting over there. And it's a good thing we did because we were going to lose the four projects that we had, uh, had put in for. Uh, originally, we put in for, uh, let's see, we put in for the, the roundabout to make it look, look like a roundabout. and. Uh, safety issue at uh, 5 and Y and Dogwood Hill and the shoulders on five highways from A Highway to Gainesville. But anyway, we got over there and uh, the guy from West Plains, he, uh, he wanted all 40, four, uh, round figures, he wanted all $40 million to go to uh, Howe County on the uh, extension from, Howe, or from West Plains to Thayer, which the 40 million uh, was guesstimated it would have went from uh, uh, West Plains to Brandfield as far as the 40 million, but 40 million would have took him, but... Uh, but then it's four lanes? Yeah, okay. There's a, they've got a, a turning lanes now, which uh, it sounds like it does the job, but uh, anyway, uh, he wanted all 40, round figures there again, all 40 million of it down there, and, and needless to say, if we and I was thankful for the county to, to be there and then us. And, but anyway, we got it. Actually, we got two of the items moved up a little bit on the, on the first uh, page that we had, and that was a roundabout and uh, the safety issue out on Y Highway. We got those moved up a little bit, but we got all four projects put back on the, the list, or if we hadn't been there, they'd have been gone. So, And there again, I was thankful for uh, the county showing up and and, uh, and actually Ozark County helped us out also so I was thankful for Ozark County also we need to, have you got a list of the lifeguards there yeah we do and uh, we need we need an approval on that we really, I want to break that down into two different motions uh, because Bridget is on one of them I, I would like to go, what I, uh, if everybody's all right with the lifeguards, I'd, uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to, yeah, here you go. Well, mm -hmm. I've had them because I've read them all. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's got a niece yeah. on that list. Yes, I was going to tell you, my niece is on that list for the list of lifeguards. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Let's see. Anyway, well, let's go with the lifeguards first, and, and uh, if you just had a chance to look over them, and these were all recommended by Sherry, so uh, and entertain a, a motion to accept the list of lifeguards that uh, Sherry has presented to us. I'll make a motion then. Okay, okay we got I'll second the motion. Got a second here. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 We have one abstain. I abstain, yeah. Okay. 
I've got my non-certified because uh, Bridget's on there, and uh, uh, we'll do it the same way. Just a, a motion to approve uh, the non-certified for that Sherry has recommended. Do we need to have a motion for that? The non-certified. I'll, I'll make that motion. I have a second. I'll second. second. Yeah. Okay. All in, all in favor? All right. And okay. I will abstain. One abstain. Okay. So that takes care of the, the light guard. And this non-certified. I'm starting to get more nieces or nephews on there because I'm going to give them to be in the boat. <laughs> uh, we, we were going to have bids for the for the lower park and, and the 23rd, May the 23rd, but we've changed that to, until May the 30th that we'll uh, have the bid opening at three o'clock on May the 30th. And, and the reason why is because of the, the flooding down there and we're trying to get the bathrooms moved to a higher elevation. And, and then we're gonna have one change on it anyway. Uh, uh, it showed water fountains out front and uh, we really don't need them because if we get them in that location uh, 50 feet away from it, there's a water fountain already there. So we're gonna have that, that'll be an optional uh, an option on the bid, so basically we're taking it off, and that'll save a little bit of money. So, okay. Any questions on that? No, changing that until the 30th at three o'clock, we'll have a bid opening, and it's going to take a little bit, of, a few more weeks before we find out from uh, uh, the survey whether we can put it in that location, get it out of the floodplains. Okay, we, we visit again with uh, Trek. You know, we, we come up with a, uh, a number of 2.1 million over a four year period or five year period. I can't remember, four or five year period, and we can't, I mean, we, financially, we can't, we can't even think about doing that. But uh, they come back down and we visited with them again, and, and uh, they come up with uh, just, just for the, we talked to Jeff Colfer and, and uh, the, we thought, what is the most important part that we need mapped out? And, and Jeff felt like it was uh, the sewer system. So anyway, we visited a little bit with him about that, and he just shot us a number of $50,000 out there. And, and uh, anyway, uh, with some, we've got some other projects, and I'll talk about a little bit later that we're going to have to do this year or next year. And, and on this $50,000 figure, I. I would feel more comfortable with let's just put this off for a year or two and and uh, there is a, a mapping that's going to take place in Marshville within the next year and, and uh, we may be able to talk to them and visit you know and, and get a better idea of what would better serve our community and uh, so uh, I would recommend let's just let's just forget about this mapping for until we can look into it in the, in the future and uh, have a little better better understanding of what our community needs and what we can we can uh, stay up with. Okay, yeah. that, that good with that. that. Yeah, yeah, you bet. That's definitely. And I got a shock last week with an ISO building code grading. It's a it's a rating that I and I, it's my understanding it's done every four years and uh, there's a Randolph Finkel that drove down. Anyway, we, uh, Suzanne and I spent about well, two hours with him, and, and this was something that caught me off guard. But any, anyhow, I, uh, I don't know yet, or we don't know yet how the, how the rating went, but I, I feel pretty comfortable that we we done all right with it. So uh, it's just a, we'll wait and see how we come up on that, or yeah, come out on it, but I, I think we done, we'll be, be just fine with it. So. But it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. <laughs> I was, I'm, anyway, I'm comfortable with, uh, I think it'll be just fine, so. And, uh, and uh, that's just a follow up. Uh, uh, our cleanup went, went good and there's, a, there's still a little bit of brush up. But these storms won't leave us alone and, and there's brush, still have brush cleanup and, and we will probably up into the summer, but anyway, the brush crew they they are following up on that, and, and uh, each week we get more calls on it. But uh, 
but we'll we'll just keep cleaning until we get it all taken care of. And this uh, I, this wastewater treatment, this is what a treatment plant the filters on it. That was one of the things that you know we're going to have to look at, and it's a it's a huge expense, and I don't know if. Uh, Nobody's probably, not, none of the aldermen are probably familiar with this, but I went down, and I wasn't. You know, I went down to the treatment plant, and you know, I thought, what kind of a filter would cost $250,000? So anyway, uh, I went down, and there's 250000 is a round figure that will replace two. We had three. So anyway, that's something that we're going to have to look at soon. Uh, there, they say these filters will last about 25 to 30 years, where our, our plant was built in 1989, which is 30 years. Yeah. So uh, uh, they're working fine now, and uh, but you know uh, we're going to have to we're going to have to probably do a couple of them either this year or next year, and then put the, uh, one of them off. And but that was one of the things I was referring to that. You know, we need to put our money there instead of a, a GS uh, mapping, you know. And uh, I don't know if we can, we're thinking about maybe tackling part of it this year, but uh, uh, that filtering system, you know, I think of it like as a swimming pool, you know, a big tank with sand in it. Well, this is basically the same thing, but it's big, long concrete vats that, that's uh, got perforated pipes in the bottom and then sand on top of it and this sewage goes through the sand and when it comes out the other side it's a it's it's pretty remarkable remarkable how clean it is and then it goes from there goes through some uh, ultraviolet lights two different banks of them and then it goes from there into the stream so it's it's quite a process and and uh, I would recommend looking at it and then you better understand uh, when I've de or talked to the people, they asked me, why are our sewer rates so high? Well, you know, on our water, we just pump it out of the ground and it runs into their house. And they drink it or use it. But I, I never give it much thought until I went down there what it, the process is that this sewage goes through to treat it and then put it back out in the stream. So uh, as an alderman, I would really recommend going down and seeing what kind of a process and. And that way we could better answer uh, that question when we're, when we're out in the public. Why does it cost us this much for, for our sewage? And it's, uh, it's, a, it's quite a process that it goes through. And then watch out when it goes in and then when it comes out, what it looks like. And it's, uh, it goes back into the stream and it's ready when it's processed. It's ready to go back into the stream. So. One but anyway, of the, one of the reasons why it is so expensive is because it is a tri what they call a triestuary system. Mm -hmm. There's three different yeah. processes yeah. because it's going into Prairie Creek, which is a losing stream, and that's why there's all those extra requirements from DNR. Is if it's different, if it's not going into a losing stream, mm -hmm. this goes into a losing stream, yeah. and so there's a lot of extra. How do we tell when those filters uh, are no no longer? I mean, when, how do we tell when they have to be replaced? Did they test the water coming out? Yes, I yeah. think there's testing. It's, yeah, it's, uh, the there's a periodic test at the end yes. that uh, yeah. they they pull the samples out and then they take it to Springfield. I, I'm assuming Springfield, mm -hmm. but, and yeah. but anyway, uh, so the water quality is to the point where we're going to have to start thinking about replacing some filters. It's yeah, it's I doing mean, its they job. They have served their purpose. Right, it is doing its, its job. It's doing its job, but, but uh, there's a lot of expectancy. So if one of those goes down, how long? Can we can we maintain with one or two of those? Yes. Can we maintain them long enough so. to it, get the other one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. So and that's and there's always the option, and, and this is what we do with like when there's a uh, like the eight and a half inches of rain yeah. or whatever. When there's more than we can process, it's diverted over into the lagoon. Mm -hmm. And then when we get slack time, we pump that back, and then out of the we, lagoon. Yes, we we process it then, and then put it back in the stream. So uh, if we have to, we can divert water over to the lagoon if we're one of these goes down. down. And, uh, but it's a uh, it's it's a big expense that we're going to have to look at, and, and uh, it's a matter of 
do we do it now or do we put it off until next year? But uh, it's not a, we're going to look at it. Matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yeah. Point, yeah. So. so we're going to look at it, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> we're going to look at it and if we can, if we can do it, we're, we'll probably try to tackle it this year. So. And that's why if, you know, on some of the capital expenditures and, and especially there's like zero for this and zero for that is because we're trying to funnel it all into the possibility that we might have to do that. And if we don't, then we might be able to move some of it back out, but we're just going to concentrate on that and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And we can, we can do two of them cheaper, you know, at one time versus them bringing all their equipment down here and doing one for say 125000 mm -hmm. Yeah. And then going back, we can do the two and save okay. a quite a bit of quite a bit of money, and so uh, that's what we're that's the reason we're looking at two right now. And, and, and that uh, answers my question. I was going to ask if we could do one, but if we can, uh, well, get no, on two, that's then. not out of the question. That's yeah. that's something we're going to visit with them about. I, I I talked to Stephen today at uh, uh, he came in here, and I said uh, uh, I'd like to talk to you and I and and uh, and see what we can do, and make, maybe we can. Uh, Make arrangements where we can do them both at the same time and make payments, or, or do pay for one now and maybe put a the other one over on a, a different physical year, depending on what time of the year we had it done. So uh, we we are kind of negotiating to see what we can do. So any more questions on that? It's uh, I, I would recommend if you get time. It's it's interesting to, to go down and look at it. So. And I think I mentioned a little bit about DNR coming down and they took uh, uh, samples over water and, uh, and anyway there was a whole list of stuff. I can mount some of the stuff that they tested for but the uh, bottom line is our drinking water tested out good and uh, we're, we're good on that. And down to, I've got guys down here for PD and he's not. <laughs> Do you, want to, do you want to talk about that? Can we uh, do that in close the time? Yes, we can. Yeah. yeah. I want to get some more information on money. I don't okay. have that information. Sure. Because we don't Thanks. have wayfinding. Uh, well, I skipped wayfinding. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Michael Wake was on vacation last week, and he's uh, over the sign department at uh, West Plains. But we did send the information to him, and then he sent the information to Jeff City. So. Uh, we're waiting on Jeff City, and as soon as they get back and say it's okay, we'll we'll get the signs and, and uh, we'll get them we'll get them done. So I think that's all of that. We need a we need a motion to go into closed. Dude, what about this this one here? We can talk about that in closed or yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, motion to go into closed. That's a nice motion. Second. I second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Yes, sir.